If you're looking for quick, cheap and tasty vegan food that's healthy, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. Alright, so for our final breakfast we have the surprisingly good oatmeal and I say that because I don't normally like oatmeal but somehow I really like this one. You want to start with one cup of rolled oats and then add in one cup of plant milk, I'm choosing oat, and one cup of water. Also add in two tablespoons of maple syrup and a little sprinkle of salt. Give it a little mix and then bang that over a medium heat and let cook until it's much thicker and stickier. Make sure that you occasionally stir just to prevent the bottom from burning. This is the type of consistency that you're looking for. At this point you can go as crazy or as conservative with the toppings as you like. I'm just going with a little sprinkle of sugar, it'll be perfect. Alright, so for our final breakfast we have porridge and I'll start off with saying I don't actually like porridge that much, but I followed a recipe that my girlfriend gave me and you know what? It's not actually that bad and it's the first bowl of porridge I've ever eaten in my life. So if I like it, then I feel you will too. Because I'm a genius. <laughs> it's really good. I don't need to explain what porridge is, you will know what porridge is and to make it this way, it's really good. Before we get on to lunch, if you like the video so far, like down below, if you've got any questions, comment as well, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos on the channel. So, let's come to lunch. For lunch, I'm finally gonna show you how to make our lime and coriander quinoa for our burritos. First, add in one cup of quinoa to a pot, along with half a vegetable stock cube and two cups of water. Chuck the pot into a medium heat and let cook until the water's gone, which is around 10 minutes. Once the quinoa looks sort of like this, turn the heat off, cover with a lid, and let steam for however long you can be bothered to wait really. I normally let it go for five to 10 minutes. Whilst that's doing its own thing, take five grams of coriander or cilantro, same thing, and finally dice it up. We're also gonna take a lime and cut it in half. This one's a bit old, but it's all I have, so yeah. Add in your coriander, lime, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, which I also currently don't have, and then mix it all together. I've already shown you how to make the rest of the burritos in a previous video, so if you wanna see the rest of it, click the little i button above. If you happen to have a little bit more time and feeling a bit adventurous, I'd really recommend making your own tortillas as they're much better and they're actually surprisingly simple. So first we're going to slap some sour cream, quinoa, meat and guacamole together, all vegan of course. Here's just a long unedited clip of how I roll up the burritos so if you're kind of not sure on how to do it, hopefully this helps you out. If you want to spice up your traditional burrito shapes, here's a Crunchwrap Supreme style from Taco Bell. To add some extra texture to our burrito and to simply prevent the Crunchwrap from unraveling, just toast on a medium heat for a minute or two until golden brown to seal them shut. It has a really nice added texture to the burrito and if you can do it, I'd really recommend it. It's really good. Oh my god, that's so good. This is incredible. I like it in this style. Also, I just remembered, I had a Wicked burrito, and if you don't know what Wicked are, they're like a vegan food company here in the UK, and I've ranted about them before on this channel. I had a burrito yesterday, and it sucked. It was awful. I don't know why people buy their food. I don't know why I keep buying their food, because I give them too many chances. This is so much better. It's cheaper as well. Their burrito costs four quid. Rip off, mate. Ridiculous. This was it? a quid. Infinitely better. Make this. Don't give your money to Wicked. Donate it to charity or something. And now lunch is over. Let's move on to dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. And for our final dinner of the series, we have these amazing stuffed peppers. For the mixture, perform some magic on one brown onion and two garlic cloves. Whack the onion into a pan with some oil on medium heat and cook for a few minutes until translucent. Just leave the garlic to the side for the moment. Add in one cup of your TVP meat mixture and then the garlic along with half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Let it cook for a minute or so and then add in half a can of chickpeas, half a can of tomatoes, one vegetable stock cube, three quarters cup of rice and one and a half cups of water. Bring it to a boil and then reduce to simmer once the liquid is almost reduced by half. Cover the lid and let it cook for an additional 15 to 20 minutes. For our peppers, first you want to decapitate them in front of each other and remove their guts. Make sure to keep the ends of your peppers and then just cut them like I'm doing here so you don't waste them and you can use them in other dishes later on. Lube them up with a bit of olive oil and sprinkle some salt and pepper over them all. I suggest oiling them over a pan in case any spills and you're not wasting it. Cook on a medium heat until you get some nice color all over. Plop your pretty perfect peppers into a pristine pink pan and stuff them to the brim with a mixture. Here's what you want your mixture to look like when it's done. We're just going to taste for salt and then add accordingly. Cover with tin foil and roast in an oven on gas mark 5 for 15 to 20 minutes. This really brings out the sweetness of other peppers and brings the dish to a whole new level. Look at those lovely peppers. Look great, don't they? Alright, let's give them a try. 
The thing that's hard with stuffed peppers is how the hell do you eat it? Mm. It's just phenomenal, really. I think the thing that I love most about these stuffed peppers is the contrast between the savouriness and the spiciness of the mixture, and then that paired with the kind of roasted sweet pepper. It's so good, man. And then you have like the yogurt on top. Oh, phenomenal. It's just such an amazing recipe. <laughs> I hope to toot my own horn, but... And unfortunately, that brings us to the end of the seventh and final day of this mini series. If you liked it, like down below. If you've got any questions about this video, the series, cooking or just being vegan, comment down below and then I'll try and get back to them as soon as possible. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos on this channel and arguably the most important video of this series, which comes out next week, hopefully, <laughs> where I'm going to do a few different things. I'm going to show you how to use the website which I've uploaded all the recipes to of this series and how you can kind of implement them and change them and kind of come up with your own meal plan within minutes, really. It's an incredible website and it's great, so look forward to that. It should be a good episode. Hopefully I'll see you there. Thank you very much for watching this episode and all the support on the channel. We hit 100 subscribers. That's really cool. I'm really proud of that. So on to 150. But thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next week. Cheers. Done, Kat. Do you want a burrito? Do you want a burrito? Or do you want a stuffed pepper?